Mike with Mountain Mike's. Today I'm going to show you how to use our plaque master. This is our budget plaque model. Um, I say budget, but it's a very nice looking plaque. It's just to get the price points that um, are currently on the market, they've been on the market for a long time, that $19 price point. Um, it's a particle board, very rough around the edge. Um, it's a styrofoam center cover, maybe some red velvet or some green velvet. Um, and it's just got a decal finish on it. But like I said, if you rub your hand around the outside, you're going to get cut. Um, a lot of them fall apart. The particle board breaks in the process of putting them together. This unit was our alternative. It's an inexpensive unit, but with our patented center cover, there's a two-piece. There's still no trimming. There's no cutting. There's no tucking. Um, so this unit also being injection molded, we have a very it's nice okay. edge, quality looking job at an inexpensive price. Let's get started. This side. We're going to mount these antlers up today and we're going to keep it on the original skull cap. Unlike the rack plaque, which utilizes our shed spreader to get the perfect tucked finish and custom look, this unit uses a two-piece center cover that sandwiches the antlers in depending on the diameter. So it's pretty much a universal kit. You don't need the shed spreader. It does work with you if you have some sheds or you want to go that route. But uh, this is really primarily designed to work with Deer's original skull cap. It's an inexpensive. Put in the front of the burrs as a guide, straight down. That angle right. That's the way it's going to sit on the board. You can see the curve of the antler, just like the diagram in your picture. Now from the bottom of the bird down, you want to measure three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to mark that. So this is about what you're going to look like. You're not going to be cutting all the way to the back of the skull. You're going to be coming about where the suture is, is the way it usually comes out. So see how that line is? You got a 90 degree angle. It'll sit nice on the flat. It'll sit nice and flat on the plaque. So we'll go ahead and make that cut now. Make the center cover. I'm going to go ahead and trial fit it. You want to tuck, make sure they slide around that. Keep on the underside of the burrs. You, have, you can flex these a little bit in to, to get those ears to fit right underneath there. And that's going to be a perfect fit. I won't have to do anything else to this. No trimming whatsoever. Let's say we put this on there and we, it's hitting and the antlers are too wide. And it just won't, I can't get it to fit right. In that case, what I do is take a Dremel tool or a rat tail file or even a, an X-Acto knife, utility knife. And you can just carefully shape that, okay? Just a little bit, shape that to get it to fit nice and snug around that. You can use a pocket knife, you can carve it gently, just be, be gentle with it. Take off what you need, keep trial fitting, don't take too much at once, just little by little until you get a perfect fit. But generally this is gonna be right where you want it. We have tight to the burrs because where the screw is going to attach is a little knob there. So we're just going to take that off. You can do it with a saw, you can do it with a sander, Dremel tool, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off real quick on this. And that's all you need to do. Now, when I slide the top portion forward, it comes all the way snug and there's plenty of clearance. Put the bottom piece on. Okay. Go ahead and mount. These two center cover, the lower center cover holes. Lay your plaque on there, line up the holes, put your two number six, your black number sixes in there, put that to the center cover. Whatever you do, don't get old, you can't see what you're doing. Okay, now that I got everything nice and tight, push the back in, everything's sandwiched really tight. Now I can put my last screw in right in the back here. Now, it'll, it's a self-tapping screw. You just push, you can pre-drill if you want, or you can just go ahead and screw it right in. Okay, once that's in, you want to mount your last two screws in your pack right here. Pre-drill them with the 316th drill. Make sure you don't go any deeper than the inch and a half of these screws, and you won't come out with number 12 screws in. And there you have it. So there you go. Done with mounting your antlers up. You have your brass name plate. Now you can have this engraved. You can leave it off if you want. You can add it if you want. Some people, you can take it down to your trophy shop in town. Um, check back on our site because we're going to start offering this service too. But this uh, makes a really nice looking unit with it on there and you can commemorate 
the uh, the trophy by having an British unit, I think you're going to like it. The Plaquemaster, quick and easy and inexpensive. Thank you.